Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about your image. Like, what does your image tell other people? Can you change anything in your image or should you even change it? So if you're in business for yourself or maybe thinking about getting into business, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Six years of podcast. So, you got tons and tons of stuff to catch up on. By the way, I had somebody just tell me the other day that they have watched every single episode or listened to every single episode of this. So, if you are here, and you're watching this on YouTube or anywhere, tell me how many episodes you've listened to or what number you're on. Because, man, six years of content, that's a ton. Anyway, uh, if you didn't know, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com, and this is what I do. So if you don't have a rep, an account rep, a guy in your back pocket for window cleaning supplies, questions, and everything else, I want to be your guy. Shameless plug. But... I put orders in for people. That's how I make my cheddar. And if I could do that for you, it would be absolutely amazing and a virtual high five of awesomeness. My number is 862-312-2026. And if you want to be a cool kid, which you are already, I know, but if you want to be a cool kid, that is somebody who watches and listens to everything and lets me put their orders in. So yes, it's a shameless plug and uh, I'm okay with it because shameless plugs work. So if you haven't yet, let me put your orders in. I genuinely appreciate that. And it costs you nothing extra. I make it super simple. So just shoot me a text, call me, whatever. 862-312-2026. Okay, and if you haven't yet gotten a subscription to the AWC Magazine, the American Window Cleaner Magazine, it is the greatest magazine ever made for window cleaning business owners. There's articles, there's pictures and posters, there's new products, there's details and specials and everything, including custom, awesome stickers for window cleaners. Put on your buckets and everything else. Join the culture. Be in this. You're nerding out and listening to a podcast. Uh, Take a second right now. Go to awcmag.com forward slash sub. Get a subscription. It's like 69 bucks. Get a subscription. It goes to your door. Real magazine every single month. And there you go. Anyway, it's done. My, my, my rant for the beginning is done. If you are here, that means that you are probably either interested in business or in a business. So if you're in a business, a small business, what we're talking about today is your image. Now, I'm not talking about, like, are you clean? Like, you know, do you, do you have teardrop tattoos and swastikas on your forehead? No. That obviously it comes without saying, but what I'm talking about is your image of your company. And a lot of times, a lot of times, companies that are in the service sector are smaller, air quotes, forgot you guys can't see me do air quotes if you're only listening to this, but they're too small to care about image, right? They're just like, I just clean windows, we do this thing, and you know, I show up and I'm clean and I'm super nice, and okay, I get that. That is its own vibe. That's its own kind of niche, if you will. But what is your image telling people? And that's a big question that people get blinded by. They, they get blinders on, and it's the reason that, you know, 50% of window cleaning companies are clear view and different spellings or whatever, right? Uh, By the way, if that's your business name, um, I'm not saying it's a bad business name. I'm just saying it's a very common business name, right? So people go in, people like to have uh, water or soapy bubbles as their kind of thing. And if that's your thing, awesome. There is no wrong or right. It's your company. I'm just the dude who sits here and babbles to himself in front of a computer. But... If you have an image, there's a way to basically show everyone the same thing. And that's what the small guys really kind of miss out on. I know guys that have started literally, you know, in the first six months and they got everything dialed in. That is a business that will go far, I'm telling you. And it's not for any other reason is that they're dedicated to the business structure of their company. 
And if you're like, hey, you know what? My name of my company is Jersey's Window Cleaning. And I just do enough to kind of, you know, work a few hours a week and make a living. And that's my thing. Cool. That is your image. Your image is that, right? Obviously, you still clean, drive a decent truck. But if you're looking for more, which there's no wrong way, you have to decide yourself. But if you're looking to be a bigger company or a more professional company or somebody who's able to charge more for this luxury service we do, or you're looking for more customers or clients or to break through the noise of other companies, image is absolutely everything. Now, if you're super kind and nice and everything, you don't have to do as nice of a job, but you still have to do good work. So when I say all this stuff, don't send me angry emails about, if you do crappy work, no one will call you back. Well, of course not. If you light a fire in their bathroom trash can, then they're not going to call you back either, right? That goes without saying. But what I'm saying is the image itself is what basically, basically tells somebody something without saying anything. It is absolutely image. And I'll ask you this even if you're small, no one's around, say it to yourself, write it down, send it to me, text me, call me, put it in the comments, do anything. But I want to know what your image is. What is your image? Tell someone. This is a weird question because we talk USP all the time, right? Unique selling point. What, what makes you unique next to the next guy, next to the other guy, whatever, too many nexts. Right? But what's your image? The image is when somebody looks at your company, say you, standing by your vehicle, getting out of your vehicle, ready to work, what do they see? And I'll tell you, this is one of the hardest things to actually see because you're too busy working to see what others see. Or you're too embedded to see what others see. It's a really, really hard thing to do to really see it without somehow taking a picture of you or your image or whatever. You have to be hyperactive and hyper-focused kind of on what your image is to make it a certain thing. But we all know what our image says in our brains, but we don't know what our image actually says to the customer. And a big thing is professional. Like professional image in general is what will make you more work. It will make your company larger. It will do all of those things. And that is 100% professional image. But is your company giving that professional image? You may look and go, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I could probably get new shirts. Here, but here's the thing. Your overall image in a business, looking into a certain way, is kind of uniform. Not you're actually uniform, but it's across the board. Look at a big company in your area, a really big company. Find a HVAC company or some industry where all of their guys look the same. Same clothes, same uniform, same equipment, same um, vans. If you get an invoice from them, the invoice is all the same. Like everything is branded. Everything is branded. If you're looking at yourself and you're like, well, you know, I don't have any wrap on this vehicle, you know, it's, it's in the shop or, you know, I just got a new vehicle. I don't have this image. And well, I didn't wear the shirt today that I normally wear, you know, it's just a little dirty or, you know, I see some guys wearing WCR shirts, which is super rad, by the way, but doesn't image anything for you. All of those pieces are part of the puzzle to make this not look uniform. By the way, speaking of shirts, you know how I always drop little teasers in the podcast for everybody who listens? Um, one of the things that we're doing, Steve and I, is we're getting, each of us are getting 100 shirts uh, made up that is either Team 1 Clip or Team 2 Clip. And if you know, you know. And we're going to hand those out at the huge convention. So if you're there, uh, ask us early so you get one of the shirts. They will go uh, instantly. So anyway, side note, wear that on the job. People won't know what you're talking about. But what does your image say? I love having people look at other companies because it's really easy to look at another company because you don't know the ins and outs. You only see what you only see, right? And all of that 
shows you specifically in the image, right? So if you're not wearing a uniform and you're not wearing, um, you know, um, the same shorts or shoes as everybody else and all your crew looks different, then they don't really look the professional part. Most professional in front of people companies have a uniform, at least a majority uniform, right? You can't wear sandals, you know, if you wear a hat, it has to have the logo. If you wear coats, it's got to have the logo. Like, it has to have that. And all this stuff does cost money, I'm going to tell you. It does cost money. But when you're looking at image, you're looking at what does it say to somebody. If I can say I'm the most professional company out there, we're not even focused on price. You're looking at the company like, well, look at these guys, right? I will get more work because I look more professional than the next guy. And that could be absolutely your case. Again, if you don't have an image... Don't fight me on this and say no, but if somebody's looking for like, hey, this is just a guy who cleans windows on the side, that may be your image, right? They don't want a corporate company. Maybe that exists. Same thing with magnet signs. I know I offend people when I say the magnet signs, but magnet signs to me is a temporary business. Like you're you're basically, you can take your business off your car. Like I know that there's some driveways, you, people in neighborhoods can't do that, but for me, the rap, you know, shows somebody's like, dude, they are serious about that. They're serious about their image and their company. The big thing that people miss in the whole image thing is the uniformity of an image. Right? So here's something. When you look at these big companies that have really amazing branding, they brand everything. If you want to see an amazing company, he'll probably just don't tell him I told you this. Uh, but his name is Wesley, and he owns a company called Wise Guys Pressure Washing. And they are out of Georgia. Just search them online. Their website's amazing. Everything is amazing. These guys, not only is this one of the smartest kids I've ever dealt with, his entire team is amazing. This isn't a plug for them. They're just a pressure washing company that I've known forever. But what he does is brands everything to a T. It's phenomenal. He has his logo on his equipment, soft, uh, uh, flat surface cleaners, like everything. Look at the trucks, look at the pictures. Wise guys window clean, or wise guys pressure washing, wise guys something in, in Georgia. They're like in the Atlanta area. It's such an amazing company. And the stuff that you're putting a big decal, what does it cost, a couple bucks to put it on something? Uniformity means every piece of everything is the same. And I'm gonna tell you, if you have a letterhead or you write invoices if you put those in an envelope if you have business cards if you have five ups if you have a website all of those things have to have the same feel the same same fonts the same colors the same background like if you like the blue soap bubble thing that a lot of guys do that has to be on everything everything and if the picture has a stroke that's black on it, everything has to have that exact same thing. You want to be able to create one thing and then take that one image and do it on everything. That's uniformity. That's showing somebody that in this, every piece is the same. And what it, it, it subliminally tells people is you take this thing seriously. You're a big company. Look at this. The small guy who just started cleaning windows part-time yesterday doesn't have matching letterhead or envelopes or whatever. It costs you an extra $10 to get envelopes printed versus regular envelopes. There's 500 of them, right? Business cards. Well, I got, I got this or I got that. Change the business card. Make it the, the best and most streamlined thing that you have. All of these things cost money, but what do you make an hour? If you have all of these pieces in play, your vehicles are wrapped. Your, your techs look the same, right? The clipboard that they carry around with them to the jobs has the logo on it. The, the, the envelope, the, 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 the invoice, the everything creates the same experience for the customer. And remember, what we do is we sell an experience because we're a luxury business, right? Look at Apple. We talk about them all the time. Every box to every product that they sell is what? Exactly. It's white. It's white, it's clean, it's minimalist. A photo of the picture, everything is matte, it's not gloss, it's simple. Do you think that it just happened to be an accident? No, that is their branding. 
That is when you walk into the Apple store, there's no clutter. There's no desks and cubicles. There's tables with items. People are walking around minimalist. It's simplistic. They usually have a giant glow up white wall in the thing somewhere, right? Big giant TV screen that's all white and has a black apple in the middle. That is their image. That's their image, right? Everything that they have is streamlined, smooth, simple, sexy, easy, soft lines. That is their image. Now, you're not Apple. I understand that. But the same thing has to happen to you is every piece to everything you do needs to match. Doesn't have to be cloned. Doesn't have to be perfect. But if you run everything blue, don't change it. If you have this one's got a picture of a gopher with swim shorts on it, don't forget the gopher with the swim shorts on the other thing. In a branding campaign, everything matches. And when you change one thing, everything changes. You start with your master. That master is a picture that you designed that made it look awesome. Talk to other people. Don't just take your own word for it. You will lie to yourself. But that is your master and everything's built off that. Your website gets built off that. Every Facebook ad gets built off that. Your door hangers, your everything is built off that one picture. That way, when you have something and they see it, people will... In instantly recognize a same feel. They'll know it before they actually know that they're knowing something. The subliminal, right? Uniformity is professional. And brand everything. There's so many times that people look at all of this stuff and they go, well, it's, gosh, I'm really excited, kind of expensive to put a sticker on the... What? What? A professional company is making 75 to $100 an hour, a man hour. For the services, if you're not to that point, change your prices. But at that point, at $100 a man hour to clean windows, you have extra money to make your company invest and look even better. This stuff is not expensive when it brings you people. Something's expensive when you spend money. Something is not expensive when you invest money. If I said right now to you that I have... Um, a deal. I will write it down in writing. Um, I have this, you know, a big inheritance coming tomorrow. Absolutely real. You know it. You believe it. Um, we've signed the con. I mean, it's 100% legit. And I said, all I need from you is $1,000 today. I got to pay this thing and I get my, my, my $5 million tomorrow. I'll give you back $10,000 tomorrow as a thank you. It's 100% guarantee. It's not, not fake. It's not scamming. It's absolutely real. There's not one of you anywhere, anywhere, that would go, oh, man, I don't know, man. I can't spend $1,000 right now. Oh, I, can't, I can't spend that $1,000. I don't know, man. I'm, like, I'm going to have to get like birthday presents, anniversary presents this year. Like I can't spend that money. Nobody would ever say that. They'd be like, yes, go to the bank right now. Give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Because you're not spending that money. You're investing it. The problem is in business, the longer you're in business, the easier it gets. But this is new equipment. This is websites and SEO. And, and we always talk about uh, Monk SEO, by the way. And uh, I had another person who was asking me about them and ended up signing up with them literally last week. And when we were talking about it, um, you know, at first, um, when he was talking, he's like, this isn't, I'm not, I'm not spending anything a month. I'm getting customers. Like, I'm investing in my company. Like, of all things, I can invest money in SEO. I'm just making it back. People have stocks in other companies. They're willing to take money and put it into Apple or IBM or whatever, Coca-Cola. You're investing in Coca-Cola. Why would you not invest in yourself? That's what all this is, right? So branding gets you money. It makes you money back. If you look absolutely amazing, you will have an easier time selling jobs. You'll get more expensive jobs. You'll get them faster, easier. And if you're there looking like that and your image is that against the next guy who just wrote it down on a paper napkin, you're going to get the job. Image is an investment that so many people forget. They just don't see the image side of it. They see it as just like spending money. You're not spending money. If you go buy a TV, that's spending money. That's when you go, I don't know if I got $1,000 for a TV because it sits in your wall and then is worth nothing. You've just spent, meaning you gave away $1,000 for a thing. If I take $1,000 and I go and do SEO 
with that thousand dollars i'll make a thousand dollars a week in new business easy for the rest of my time now all of a sudden if you're looking at it, it's like okay well i'm making four thousand dollars by spending a thousand dollars on seo every month in your head you're like dude that's amazing you're making tons of money no stop with the dentist clothes, you're doing that same job every six months for the next, we'll say forever, because obviously people die and this isn't the thing, but say that. That one job or that one week's worth of work means that for every year, you make another $2,000 forever, forever. That $1,000 got you those people. They're going to re-sign up for you every six months. It's $1,000 of new work. Every six months, $2,000. So for 10 years, that $1,000 made you $20,000. And that's going to happen every single week. When people look at image and they look at, at, at you know changing their print stuff and they look at their, you know, their equipment that they made themselves and it looks absolutely awful, they look at the money they saved, but they're not looking at it as like, okay, so you saved $100, but what if you took that $100 and made it into an investment back in yourself? Right? So image is very hard because we think we look good enough, but we haven't really looked at ourselves outright. Right? Brand everything. If you brand everything, you look like a pro company. If you look like a pro company, you charge pro prices. People don't scoff at prices if you show them your value. If you've created an amazing experience, they don't scoff at prices. We've talked about this on business, and I'm going to get a little off track here, but I want to tell you something. In businesses, and I know people who do this in houses also, every job they go to, they have a plate of fresh cookies, right? Or um, I know guys will do that with uh, fudge or brownies or something. They have a little goodie package. When they show up, they give them this thing, right? I've done that a lot in commercial stuff. You go to a property manager, like, hey, I just want to introduce myself. Here's a tray of cookies. You guys are going to eat it like any other office staff and tear it up. And my logo's on there, Right? Everybody's like, well, I don't know. I couldn't spend $50, you know, doing a proposal packet, a $30 proposal packet. That means you do one bid for a job. It's $30. People go, oh man, this is how your brain works. Instead of going, oh, for 30 bucks, I could have this job. They go, oh man, well, what am I going to do? That means I'm spending, you know, if I do 10 bids, I'm spending $300 a month. Man, that's not worth it. $300 a month, man, that's a lot of money. That's $3,600 a year. I'm just in, in folders. Uh, you've just looked at it as in you're spending the money. You didn't look at it as an investment. If I go buy a $100 tray of brownies for an office, but I end up getting $25,000 worth of yearly work, did I spend $100 on brownies? Or did I invest to make $25,000? The big companies, the ones that just, you're like, man, I don't know how they're doing it. They see things differently. It's not spending, it's investing. That's where image is. If you look like a pro company, you charge like a pro company, and you're guaranteeing results and accountability and all the things that come with being that pro company, it blows everybody else out of the water. You can either go with uh, uh, Tim over there who uh, shows up and he's got uh, you know some towels he takes the bus there and he or you show up as a company in a polo and hand them the information the experience you've created tells them everything they need to know about how you're going to operate your company people who have this kind of amazing branding and and their image is everything for them they don't show up and do crap work like it just you, you don't go through all that trouble to have a crappy company you have an amazing company right Side note, get SEO. If you're not getting SEO, I talk about SEO all the time. Uh, search engine optimization is how you, people find your website. Man, you can have a mediocre website, have the right SEO, and you will make so much money. Anyway, yeah, call, call Justin Monk. Anyway, um, so that all comes down to what people think of you because they see images, everything. They are told a message without saying any words right? That's image. And it's the little things that make a difference. People are so worried about this grandiose, well, if I put a, you know, if I have a hot air balloon or I paint my whole building, like if you show up to a job and your envelopes have your logo and like full, you know, bleed color on them, that's a little thing. But 
It really shows. If you show up to somebody, and by the way, if you see me in Nashville, by the way, scream hello. Like literally, do not not say hi, even if I'm busy. Even if I'm talking to somebody, be like, oh, Jersey, what's up? Just say hello. I absolutely, my favorite thing is talking to people or at least seeing that people have watched or seen any content or anything. I just absolutely love that. So make sure to say hi. But in that same thing, if you do see me, ask for a business card. My business cards are trifecta paper with a satin finish. They feel like something you've probably not felt before. They're thick, they're cool, they're everything about it is amazing and it's a business card. The little things like that, and again, I don't know anything more than anybody, I'm just a guy, but I'm just explaining. But that one thing is such a little detail, people are like, dang, right? If you have stickers made of your logo, this big, one inch by one inch, you could have a thousand stickers made for like a hundred bucks. I don't know, check your prices, super cheap. But those stickers of your logo go on everything, everything. Your bucket on a belt, right? Any document. If you have an envelope, you seal it with the sticker of your logo. All those little things, they're like, man, these guys are legit. It's the little things that people notice that really get the biggest impact and the big stuff. Like I said, wise guys, they put their surface cleaners, get wrapped, basically, in their logos. Everything is their logos. They're the same boxes, the same trucks, the same styles, the same everything. Everything gets done. And in fact, the pen that they use to go do the bids has their logo on it. A company like that, an experience, an image, tells somebody something that you cannot say with words. People lie. Image doesn't lie. They understand that you care about your company. They understand that you're a company doing this thing. If you're just a guy, that's cool. But if you're just a guy with no image, that is your image. If you show up in a clean t-shirt that just happens to, I got no writing on this one, but say Hanes on it or Levi or something, but you're, you're clean and your shoes are white and your you know pants are clean and your gear is nice, that's awesome. That's an image. But understand not having an image is your image, right? Because then you're... Steve at Steve's Window Cleaning. You could be called Omni Window Cleaning. You're still Steve. You show up in a regular shirt. That's your image. Is you're the one man show small company. That's your thing. And if that's your thing, awesome. But that is your image. Play that image. But if you're looking for more, you're looking for an experience, you're looking for people to see something more into you, image is everything. When you see a company, and do this yourself. You don't believe anything I said uh, up to this point. By the way, if you're still listening, um, go ahead and um, in the comments, if you're on YouTube, type in the word WISE, W-I-S-E. That way I know you've watched this far and uh, confuse everybody else. By the way, I love, love that so many of you do that at YouTube. But anyway, if you watch this point, you can, you know what? I don't know. I don't know that I follow this one. Maybe you lost me. Look at other window cleaners. Look at them on social media. And I never would tell you this because social media is just a highlights reel. It's just people for them to brag to you. But look at the companies out there. If you see a company and in the background there's three other trucks all wrapped and the guys are all uniformed with brand new equipment, you're like, dang, that company is doing awesome. Is that not true? Is that not true? If you see a guy and he's like, hey, I just started window cleaning and he shows up in a uh, Chevy Caprice with, you know, rusted out uh, roll pans and fenders and, you know, a flat tire. And he shows up and he gets out and he's, you know, smoking a cigarette and, and, and didn't bother to comb his hair. You're instantly like, Oof, this guy's not going to last a while. If you don't believe anything that I've said, you instinctually do that every single time. You may not think that other people do, but they do the exact same thing as you. So make sure to be, to have an image that tells somebody something that you want them to be told. And I'm talking about the dumb things you spend money on already. Who here goes out and buys coffee, right? Or McDonald's breakfast or whatever. I am um, known for buying dumb things in my own life, right? The thing is, 
is that you could invest in your company and make more money by the things you're spending or investing on. So image is everything. I'm off my high horse. But speaking of the dumb things that I buy, I want to be your rep. And this is a shameless plug for you to be a cool kid. By the way, if you uh, do order from me, please tell me, dude, give me a cool kid sticker. Everybody uh, watches the podcast and tells me that. I give them a limited edition Cool Kid sticker that you can put on something. It is only for people who order through me that have the Cool Kid sticker. It is the most limited sticker that has ever been placed out in the window cleaning world. And um, yes, it is uh, exclusive. I want you to be exclusive. I want you to be a cool kid. So let me know. 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone. Text me, call me, save me, Jersey. It's the only Jersey you know. But that's my cell phone, so text me when you're ready for an order. Please, I would love it. Absolutely. High five of awesomeness. Go out and also get a American Window Cleaner magazine, awcmag.com. Uh, so, so awesome for the magazine to just have it in general. Uh, be a nerd. Tell your friends and family that you get a window cleaning magazine sent to your door and they will not believe you. But go and get the subscription. I would genuinely appreciate it. We want every window cleaner to have the subscription. I work really, really hard on the stickers and everything else. Amazing writers in there. They do awesome, awesome work. Some really, really smart, smart people also. The pictures are cool. Just everything is amazing. Go and get that, awcmag.com. And until next week, happy summer to you. Um, make sure your image is telling people what you want to be told. And more importantly, go out there and be epic.